Hello and welcome to Infinity. When you use wide angle or telephoto lens, you get predictable effects where the wide angle can get to edge distortion and it can push the center away. Uh, or And in the telephoto lens, everything sort of is brought forward and foreshortened and so on. So we can do these effects here using the warp mesh tool. So I'm going to click here and hit Control J twice just to do that. And let's start off, we'll do a wide angle. Right, now with this, go to the warp tool down here. And I'm going to put a point here. If you start, I could start pulling this thing in here, but then this starts to distort this a little bit here. And so what I'm going to do is to save that for the moment, because I'm going to do something with that afterwards, I'm going to put a point up here and a point down there. So now when I move these here, it's only distorting the inside. So I can pull this in here and I'm going to make this area here smaller, effectively. Oops. Control Z just undoes the last step, which is kind of handy when it just didn't quite go to where you thought it was going to go. And I can just bring this into here. Then I'll have a look at it and see whether I need to do any further distortion effects here, just to sort of tidy these things up a bit. I can drag here and pull lines and parts of things here down to just to tidy the whole thing up a bit and sort of correct any little bits which aren't quite where they should be. There we go. So now we've pushed that away. What we can also do here is say, well, let's try and get that sort of edge effect where this is going to be distorted. So I can just bring this one up here and then this one down here. And this one down here. And this one up here. And you get that sort of tilted in look. You can play around with a bit more with these if you can sort of adjust these a little bit. I can click on these, for example, and just adjust those little nodes there so it looks a little bit more natural. You can spend a bit of time doing that, but the effect is there. So overall there you've got a wide angle effect, pushing the centre away, giving a bit of distortion at the edges, and uh, if I click on the show mesh here, take that off, I can have a look and see what it looks like. Go back in if I want to adjust it. So let's just apply that there. Right, let's go to the one underneath. Make that telephoto. Here we just want to bring the background forward more, so make this closer to the size of these here. And there's a weird trick for doing that. Excuse me, I'm sorry about weird tricks. It's a kind of a clickbait word really isn't it anyway let's try this so i go here to click here and double click here and i'm going to put the this one here and this one here as well so i've got that area now what i'm going to do up here is to go from destination to source and now i'm going to do the same thing pull this in and here notice i'm moving the mesh now but the picture behind is not changing which is kind of interesting. I can bring this up here. So there you go. I formed a rectangle in there. And now watch what happens if I go from source back to destination. Wow, it's brought it forward. How about that? And then I can do any sort of further correction here, move things around just to tidy that up. Turn off the show mesh. Does that look OK? That's pretty much all right. So then I'll apply that. So we've got from the the wide angle, pushing that away and distortion at the edges, to the telephoto, and the original picture. There you go. Quick and easy, just like that. Thank you very much for watching.